Hey everybody, Jeremy up here at Cowtown. Today I'd like to give you a little walkthrough on this 18 by 56 semi-V bass boat. Now I'm going to start up here at the front. Um, we've done this video already once on a flat bottom. You know, we're just going to hit and touch a few bases with the semi-V. So this is a five degree bottom boat. Um, this boat right here, I own a semi-V boat right now. I'm going to tell you it's going to run just as shallow as your flat bottoms. If it's not sticking out of the water, I'm going to run through it. So, I mean, they perform extremely well um, on the water, on the lake. It's definitely going to save you from getting beat up compared to a flat bottom. I will tell you, the um, biggest question I get is, you know, what's, what's the benefits and what am I losing going to a semi-V? Benefits, this is going to ride better. It is going to handle better. Um, as far as turning, it's not going to slide quite as much. You know, the only downfall that you're really going to get into is you are going to lose some deck space. You know, I mean, we are cutting out a good section of boat right here to get a semi-V. And then we keep a five foot front deck, but versus having a trolling motor mount, we have to add to the structure of the boat on the front to add a trolling motor. So it does come into the boat a little bit farther. So you lose about a foot of floor space. You know, unfortunately, that's just kind of how it has to be versus a flat bottom boat. So you're gonna lose some deck space, you're gonna lose some floor space. Those are gonna be the two things that, uh, that I think, you know, are kind of what you've got to sacrifice to get into a semi-V. So just want to touch base on that a little bit, now I'll go through some of the options on the boat. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we do have a spot to mount the trolling motor right here. It is pre-wired for the trolling motor as well. So you've got a trolling motor plug, it is pre-wired for 12, 24, or 36 volt. It does have a trim switch up here as well, and also has a 12 volt. So you want to plug in a stereo up here, a spotlight, you know, you want to put a fish finder up here, you've got 12 volt up here already. It is pre-wired for your running lights. You've got your bow light right here on the rear corner gusset, you do have your anchor light. So coming back to the front deck, like I said, this is a front deck that is five foot long. You've got dry storage here. This side is also dry storage, which is a little bit different versus our standard 60 inch bottom boats that have a live well on the front. We just add a little bit more storage because there is no rod locker and there is no side storage box. Now this boat is pre-wired. We've got some wiring up here that everybody asked me, what is this wire that's not hooked up? That is pre-wired for a stereo speakers, um, lighting to the front deck. It's hard to get this wiring pulled from the console to the front deck after the boat's built. So we just go ahead and pre-wire all of our bass boats for future you know, uh, radios or lighting. Now coming back to the console here, um, this is our Bass Boat style console, it does have a full face plate, it's got the spot for the gauges, this particular boat has an Evernerd E-Tech, it is a 115 high output which is a 130 horsepower engine, you know, so we've got our systems check gauge right here, we also deal in Suzuki and we're also a Mercury dealer, so the gauge right here will kind of depend on which engine you decide to go with. You can see you've got an empty hole right here. Now what that can be is that can be a speedometer fed off water pressure and a P-dot tube off the back of the boat, or you can add a gauge dial stereo system here, or if you don't want either, we've got a plug that we offer, you can just plug this hole. Now all of our bass boat models do come standard with a fuel gauge. This boat has a 30 gallon built in aluminum fuel tank, so um, that's going to be standard on all the bass boat models. We do have our switch panel over here, which is our navigation and anchor lights, our bilge pump, our aerator pump for our rear live well, which I'll touch base on here momentarily. And then we've got our accessory switch. Accessory switch is wired up to a light on the side of the console over here. You know, you can switch that, you can wire it up to more interior lighting, you can switch it to uh, fish finder power if you would like, whatever you want to do in the future. I do want to talk a little bit about the helm. I know I touch base on it a lot in most of my videos, but it's a safety helm. You know, we don't see any of the uh, the backlash from the engine, the torque coming into the steering wheel. I can turn it right here, the engine will turn, but if I go back there and push on the engine, the steering wheel doesn't. So we don't feel the torque, makes it a lot easier for anybody to drive, whether it be a kid or your wife, whoever it may be, you know, it's a heck of a lot easier for anybody to hop in and drive and it's not gonna wanna put you into the bank. So we'll come back a little bit farther. Um, the floor of the boat, I kinda jumped past that, but if you get in the floor of the boat up here, it does have two spots for some seats. You know, we've got plenty of room for the passengers to hop in. These seats do come out, so you can take them out. You can put them on the front deck or the rear deck. There are seat bases built in. You know, all of our bass boat models, I do throw in some seat pedestals. So you're pretty well ready to hit the water. You've got all your fishing seats, you've got your fishing pedestals. 
you're ready to go. Now I'll jump back to the jump seats here. You've got a driver's seat and a passenger seat. You know that those are gonna be stationary, they're mounted there, and you've got dry storage underneath. I get a lot of people that are packing kids around. Uh, some of them just throw them on top of that lid, some of them want a seat put on that center lid. So you can also do that, that's something that we do here for a lot of people. So we'll come back to the back deck. This is a five foot rear deck. Now, with this being said, we do have a built-in live well. This live well is 40 inches long. It is a foot wide and a foot deep. So it's a very sizable live well. It is divided, it is aerated, it is insulated. So you can hold some fish in there for a good prolonged period of time, especially if you're fishing a tournament, um, really trying to keep these fish alive for, for a long time. We'll come back to the, the last storage compartment. Now this compartment is set up, we've got our 30 gallon aluminum fuel tank. We have got a battery back here. This particular setup does have an oil tank for our Evinrude E-Tech, which is a two stroke engine. So it does have a remote fuel fill. That remote fuel fill is over there on that corner gusset on the port side. So you should never have to get in here unless you're gonna be putting oil in your oil reservoir or checking your battery, hooking the charger up, something like that. We've got your running light spot right here and we have got your anchor light mounted across the rear knee braces. So we try to make everything as easy to get to as possible. You know, you're not digging around through compartments, wondering where your stuff's at. It's right there, plug it in, flip the switch. You're good to go if you run at night. So I do want to talk about the structure of this boat. This does have what we call our double walled gunnel rails. These are 125 gauge gunnel rails. I call it the backbone of the boat. It keeps any kind of torquing and twisting out of the boat um, from the front to the back. Then I want to talk about our corner gussets. These are 30 plus inch welded corner gussets. You know, you get the weight of these engines bouncing up and down the gravel roads, um, up and down the highway. You know, like this for instance, a 390 pound engine. They're, they're getting heavier, you know. They're, they're not getting any lighter, unfortunately. Um, especially whenever we start throwing big horsepower on them. And this distributes all that stress throughout the boat versus having all the pressure in six inches of the back of the boat, we've got it in over 30. So we don't see any kind of crackage up here on the front of the boat or back on the transom. Holds up extremely well. You know, that is why we offer a lifetime warranty on our bass boat models. Um, now the back of the boat, I do want to talk about the knee bracing. Now these knee braces, you know, it's a big deal to us. For the reason that you, you, know, you get the torque of these engines pushing them, these knee braces are built in, wrapped around, fully welded. You know, there's no empty spots right here. They are welded to the rear deck. You know, so the rear deck, the transom of the boat, the bottom of the boat is all one piece. Now, what we do in these bass boat models, we do longitudinal runners. What they are is, you know, they're going to be, instead of having your traditional, you know, runners going side to side on the cross members, we do some forward longitudinal runners, as well as the, the standard horizontals. So what that does is it prevents any kind of cavitation marks. So many boats I see come in, even after just a year or two years, that were just cheaper made. I'm uh, not really gonna mention any brands, but just some cheaper boats. You know, we look underneath the bottom and it's like washboard in between those cross members. What happens is the pressure of that water pushes up on that aluminum um, in between the cross members, causes cavitation marks. You get cavitation marks, you get cavitation into your jet pump, and you lose a lot of performance. Even in a boat that can just be a couple years old. So that's something that we do to prevent all of that really helps the structure of the boat, makes it a lot stronger on the bottom side. You know, that's why we don't see near as much damage out of these boats as we have in others. Um, we do offer the splash plates and the trim tabs down here on the bottom. You know, that is another, another aspect that helps out performance, you know. Um, all those things adding up really help out, guys. You know, the structure of these boats are great, lifetime warranties. There's a reason that everybody calls them a legend. They do a great job for us. Uh, if you guys have any questions on this model or any of our others, feel free to give us a call at 573-885-6300.